Ever wonder where you think warfare is headed? Imagine a future in which enormous machines and state-of-the-art technology clash on a battlefield. For many years, science fiction has featured sci-fi tanks as a mainstay, showing up in everything from comic books and video games to novels and films. These future vehicles are frequently portrayed as having far greater strength and adaptability than their contemporary equivalents, including mobility, armor, and cutting-edge weaponry. Number 5. Predator Tank The House of Trides in the science fiction Dune series deploy a fully armored hover tank called the Predator Tank. Its primary weapon is capable of dealing terrible damage to enemy troops and structures making it one of the most potent and adaptable tanks in the Doom world. In addition to being extremely mobile, the Predator tank is an invaluable tool for both offensive and defensive operations. The dimensions of a Predator tank are roughly 15 meters long and 7 meters broad. They can travel up to 100 kilometers per hour and are propelled by fusion reactor. Predator tanks have extensive armor as well. The thickest plating on them is over 1 meter thick, two 7.62 millimeters coaxial machine guns, two rocket launchers, and a 120 mm main cannon are among the many weaponry carried by Predator tanks. They also have an effective sensor suite that enables them to locate and combat long-range adversaries. Predator tanks are usually employed to assist ground units and infantry and in atrides. Attacks against enemy bases and fortifications are also possible with them. During the Battle of Arrakis, Predator tanks saw heavy use and were crucial to Atrides' triumph. Number 4. Scorpion Tank In the Henlo video game series, the United Nations Space Command, UNSC, uses the Scorpion tank as its primary assault tank. It is a very agile and adaptable vehicle that can engage opponents both up close and far away. In addition to its formidable anti-aircraft cannon, the Scorpion tank is an invaluable tool in any conflict. The 90mm high-velocity cannon that equips the Scorpion tank is capable of firing a wide range of ammunition, including canister shells, high-explosive anti-tank rounds, and armor-piercing rounds. It also has a 12.7mm machine gun mounted on the roof and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. With a long range and a high top speed, the Scorpion tank is propelled by a fusion reactor. In addition, it has thick armor, which protects it from enemy fire. One of the most recognizable vehicles in the Halo universe, the Scorpion tank has been a key player in many of the most legendary clashes from the franchise. It is an invaluable asset to any UNSC army being a strong and adaptable vehicle that can take on any adversary. Number 3. Bolo An imaginary kind of super heavy tank with artificial intelligence is called a Bolo. Since their initial conception, these characters have appeared in a number of science fiction books and anthologies written by Lawmer and other writers. Author Keith Lawmer is responsible for these creations. Numerous Bolo stories are narrated from the perspective of the Bolo itself, with its inner monologues appearing in italics throughout. It is said that the original Bolo originated from the 20th century standard main battle tank. There were numerous Bolo versions with different weapon systems, culminating in the Bolo Mark XXXII, which weighed 32,000 tons, had a variety of weapon systems and function as a platform for global defense in the year 3366. These tanks aren't your typical Bolo. Number 2. RX-75 Gun Tank The first Earth Federation Forces mobile suit prototype created by Operation V was the RX-75 Gun Tank. It was said, meanwhile, that it was more akin to a tank than a mobile suit. Many businesses, including Hervik and Takem, contributed to its development. The gun tank was a mobile suit in body and armor, but its legs were caterpillar treads. It was originally intended to be flown by a two-person crew, consisting of a driver in a separate cockpit, located in the torso, and a gunner in a canopy-style cockpit on the head. Later on, though, it was modified such that only one pilot operated it from the canopy-style cockpit. The gun tank utilized the core block system, just as every other Operation V mobile suit. Its reactor, a mix of a nuclear reactor and a gas turbine, produces too little energy to run beam weapons. Twin 120mm cannons, which are potent at both long and medium ranges, are the gun tank's primary armament. Instead of hands, its arms are equipped with four-barreled missile launchers, which are useful for covering fire against enemy tanks and planes, but less effective against hostile mobile suits. Number 1. Baneblade, one of the biggest and most ancient armored combatants in the Imperial Armed Forces arsenal is the Baneblade, the main Astra Militarum super heavy tank. Ten personnel are required to fully man one of the tanks, which are based on the venerable standard template construct, STC, design. In addition, it is of the earliest STC design still in use 
Commanders of the Imperial Guard frequently employ them as command vehicles. A bayonet blade, armed to the teeth, is more like a mobile fortress than a tank. A single one of these incredibly heavy war engines can act as the unbreakable cornerstone of even the most valiant defenses, or as the mailed fist of an Astra Militarum attack, making it an unmistakable symbol of the Imperium's armored superiority. There you have it. Science fiction tanks are a fascinating world. How you feel about these innovations? Tell us in the comments section below. Remember to like and share this video to help spread the word about how exciting technology is going to be in the future. Until the next time, maintain your curiosity and never stop pushing the boundaries of invention.